Let's talk a little bit about lighting. Lighting makes all of the difference in your videos. My lighting setup? Well, it's a little basic. It consists of one bulb. Sometimes I turn on an overhead light in the background, but that one bulb is pretty much all I use to light myself. In the past, I have used a variety of two and three point lighting setups with soft boxes attached, but I live in a very small environment and having two or three lights with the light boxes open um, doesn't leave a lot of room for me. So for my living situation, having that single light has worked out to be the best solution. And in my opinion, I kind of like the results. I, I like how everything looks. So I never really ventured into the whole realm of upgrades to lighting setups until today. I decided to go ahead and purchase the new ear, new, new ear? I, I decided to go ahead and purchase the new ear 18 inch LED light ring. Light rings have existed for quite some time and they're usually a fluorescent tube. This one is different because it uses a bunch of tiny little LEDs. What appealed to me about this product, at least from its ad on Amazon, was that number one, it's an LED light. The single light that I'm currently using is a compact fluorescent. And from what I understand, that's not the most optimal way to light a scene. Compact fluorescents, they don't do anybody's face any favors. They really don't produce flattering light on human beings at all. Not to mention, even though it doesn't produce as much heat as a incandescent bulb of old days, it still warms the room up quite a bit while I'm talking. And on a really hot day in here, I can actually start to uh, sweat a little. So with LED lighting, heat isn't really an issue at all. Moving down the heat scale is a good thing. And this product, it also comes with uh, filters that you can snap onto the front of the ring that soften the light. So I'm interested in trying those out and seeing if they give less of a harsh shadow down here maybe. How well this experiment is gonna go, I don't have the slightest idea, but we are gonna find out today. The new ear light ring, it arrives in this um, rather basic looking box, but that's all right. I'm more interested in what's inside. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Oh, this is nice. Looks like it comes with its own carrying case. Let's unzip that case and pull out the light ring. Wow, it's a pretty decent size. Here you can see some of those little LEDs surface mounted around the ring. Build quality overall looks pretty decent actually. On the bottom you have this adjustable mounting bracket to mount on a light stand or a C stand, century stand as they're sometimes known. Around the back we've got this on off and dimmer switch. And right up here, it looks like there's a cold shoe mount. It would have been nice if they included a bracket. Diving further into the carrying bag, we find an instruction manual, which I'm sure is full of entertaining English. There's one part of the power cord, another power cord for Europe, kind of random. And here's the second part of the power cord power supply. Here are two sets of those filters. One set is a soft white and the other is kind of a orange bronze, I guess for recreating sunlight. Mounting the light is simple. You attach it to a stand like so. Connect this end to your power cable, plug it into the wall and turn on the dimmer switch. If you desire, you can attach the optional filters 
Look for these tabs. They snap in around the body of the ring. Here you can see the difference between the filtered light and the LED directly. And now for the results. Drum roll, please. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. It looks like I have crazy giant weird angel eyes back there and under my sunglasses. <laughs> I'm giving you the stink eye. <laughs> oh, whoa. Okay, I've snapped the orange looking rings on. I guess it gives it more of a, a sunlight effect. Gives me more of a tanned, bronzing look. Yeah, bro. Oh. So other than the unexpected side effect of this interesting feedback going on inside of my sunglasses, what do you guys think? Is this, uh, is this an improvement or not? One thing that I did notice is that uh, my beard has gotten gigantic. I guess I really didn't notice before because uh, the lighting was so bad. It does look like that harsh shadow is gone on my neck. My face has more of an even lighting to it, at least in my, in my little preview monitor on my camera. That's what it looks like to me. I'll have to wait and see. I'm not an expert. I'm not like a beauty vlogger. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a worthwhile product? Do you prefer this lighting over the previous lighting setup? If you use one of these LED light rings, do you feel that it has improved the quality of your videos? Let me know. Go ahead and leave a comment below. Other than that, I feel like we've covered everything, so I'm going to wrap up today's vlog. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Take care.